What's up, YouTube? I'm back for another daily buzz with you guys. We go ahead and jump right into this deck. Again, this is a, I don't know what's gonna come out, but we're gonna talk about it type reading, right? Let's see, spirit. What messages do you have for my colony today, my tribe? What do my honeys need to know? What do my honeys need to know, spirit? Please and thank you. Oh, these cards want to talk. I had them on the show for a long time. Let's see. You didn't imagine it. Didn't imagine what? So I don't know like if this is like you. Someone could have left you on the outside of their emotions, guys. Like you never knew how this person felt about you, but you never knew because they never spoken in words, but you also always felt the energy. Cause you know, energy don't lie. Look, I couldn't tell you face to face. I couldn't tell you face to face. Like you couldn't imagine it. Like and I feel like, you know, when you would be around this person, you would feel the energy, but this person that could never put it into words. And it's like I couldn't tell you face to face, but you didn't imagine it. So like yes, whatever you felt, whatever it is that you were feeling, just know that this person was feeling that too. You didn't imagine it. Look, I'm sorry. Oh. And it's falling apart. Look, everything's falling down. Like this, I feel it's like this connection came to a tower moment. Like, you know, and they want you to know they saw her. Like, they, they saw her for, you know, like when somebody keep you on the outside of their emotions, it's like you never know where you stand with this person. Like, it's always a confusing energy. Always back and forth, in and out. This person is sorry that, you know, like you, it, it, it'll put you in an energy if you're not careful with it you guys like it'll really strip you of your self-confidence your self-worth it'll have have you looking at yourself in a mirror like you aren't good enough because this person is inconsistent you know what i'm saying it'll have you thinking like maybe i'm flawed what's wrong with me like nothing is wrong with you nothing nothing and they saying, look, yes, yes, it is too late. I'm sorry. Yes, it is too late. And we are more alike than I like to admit. So, like I said, no, you didn't imagine it. With this, you didn't imagine it, Carl. Whatever you were feeling for this person, they were feeling it too. And that's because y'all are alike in that aspect. Whatever you felt. And if, if you are, uh, and I don't want to say overly emotional person, but if you are someone who has emotions that run deep, y'all so does this person but the thing about it is this person may not be comfortable in the depths of their emotions like you know you may be someone that swims in yours i don't know it swims in yours you may be a pisces with the two fish or you could be a cancer or a scorpio like you know what i'm saying these people have you know like they go going they drown in the depths of emotion like you know that's their comfort zone you know what i'm saying they're water signs but you could be dealing you could have been dealing with someone that was more um logical like maybe an air sign doesn't have to be y'all 333 three, three, as i'm saying this so okay spirit says applies i was gonna say don't have to be this just could be the energy that they're they were in you know what i'm saying but you're dealing with someone you could have dealt with someone who was just more more logical you know and you know when you're always in your lot the logical part of yourself like you don't really draw in the emotions the heart aspect of it right like for a person that's too logical, not say too, I don't want to keep saying too, but um, I keep saying too because this is mirrored energy. And it says we are more alike than I admit. So if somebody that's just used to being logical all the time and you stirring up some emotions in them, it's going to cause confusion. Right? It's going to cause them to conf some confusion. Like you probably, this person relies so much on their brain like this could be someone that's real smart this is a i'm getting king, heavy king of swords queen of swords queen of swords energy this is someone that that lives in their logical body more than anything and i feel like when you stirred up this this, this depth they keep saying depth of emotion they showing me an ocean y'all like this person they got scared and that's when the guard went up 
and it says i'm sorry because you know like when they push this this person pushed you away okay 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 is this the ghoster thank you spirit i needed to know what other day this is messages from someone who ghosted you and it's like i never want to feel that way again and i don't trust you and i feel like this per it's not that this person doesn't trust you it, they don't trust the emotions that you bring out of them they don't trust that emotional body y'all they don't and it's like you we are not right for each other but i think this person is saying this out of fear like because they're also saying i'm sorry and you know like yes it's too late they know it's too late it's too late because i feel like now this person has had has had a realization they've come to they put a they put a word on it that is it's love you didn't imagine it we are more like than i than i admit so i feel like this person is in an energy of not now they've admitted some things to themselves This person has, has issued vulnerability issues. They don't like to be vulnerable. They don't. This person does not like to be vulnerable, y'all. They're uncomfortable talking about emotions. Like, even the small things like I miss you or I love you or just, you know, like pillow talking. Like allowing someone to see their softer side. Look, they don't know what to say. They don't know how to do that. I don't know what to say. Can y'all see it? I don't know what to say. This person don't know what to say. And now they just, they just in an energy of not even reaching out, not even trying. They in an energy of, because they telling themselves, yes, it's too late. And we are not right for each other. So whatever this, this person has to say to, I heard heal. Like try to try to get over the situation is what they're willing to do because they know they messed everything up. They say right here, yes, it is too late. And I could still see you standing there. So I feel like this is somebody that walked away from you. They could have literally left you standing there one day. They could have literally left you standing there one day. Look, I took the easy way out. I can't make it up. I took the easy way out. This is something. This is okay. This is messages from the ghoster. I pretend that I don't care. And they pretending like they don't care. But like I said, like I just said, this person, they trying to heal. They try, I lied to you. Like, and this lie, it don't, this could be, they could have actually lied to you. Like, could, they could have said they didn't want to be with you or like you wasn't the one for them. Cause it says right here, we are not, we know we are not right for each other. This person could have told you that they didn't want to be with you. Like, but this person lied y'all. This person lied because they knew being with you would require open and honest. Look, it will require them to do something that they never did before with this page of wands. And I feel like that's tapping to their emotions with the six of cups. They was going to be required to tap into that emotional body. And this person wasn't prepared for that. This person is scared of feelings. This person don't want to be hurt. I don't know if they've been through it with someone before that actually that hurt them. But this person, they don't want to be hurt. Okay. Unworthy. Think deeply and ask yourself why are you not worthy of the situation at hand. This is someone with definite insecurity issues. Like in, in insecurity issues, like I said, uncomfortable. Like not being sure about love or if they could succeed in love. And this, like I said, this person could have been hurt in the past. They could have dealt with other people. Like people that they could have been in connections. And this could be like love situations. Or this could be family, friends. Because Six of Cups could be about childhood too. You know what I'm saying? They could have dealt with people that played them and it's like you know like people that made them feel like they weren't good enough which is why they in turn made you feel like you weren't good enough that was the first message that came out the self-esteem issues this person has self-esteem issues they don't feel unworthy they feel unworthy emotionally unreacting you are overthinking which is causing a flood of unnecessary emotions and this is what this person was doing when i talked about being too logical you are overthinking this is an overthinker this is definite ugh, i want to say definite air side energy like this whoever this person is they really overthought this situation they overthought the situation so much until they sabotaged it jealousy your past wounds need healing work on your self-love you are greater than you know this person don't feel like they worth nothing this could be an energy of them feeling like you too good to be true like why would why you why would this person choose me why me right i'm not 
not taking all those, y'all, because this person got a lot of issues. A lot of them. Look, fearful. I'm going to take them. A learned behavior that can be unlearned. Also, a low vibrating feeling that creates limitations for you and your future happiness. Self-sabotage. Fear. And I feel like, you know, what's behind all these things like fearful, jealousy, um, overthinking, unworthy. This person hot, hid behind an ego. So, like I said, this person probably pushed you away and, like, they made you feel like, oh, you're not good enough for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? They didn't put no effort. Like, the, the effort that you would put in, you felt like it was going unnoticed. That's because this person didn't feel worthy of receiving what it is that you had to offer, right? So it says quarrelsome. Does this action fulfill an emotional need for you? Do you make do it? Does it make you feel powerful? Is it a bad habit that needs to stop? This person goes back and forth with themselves. This person goes in a the quarrel is between their light and dark. They their their ego. Negativity. Let go of the pessimistic attitude. The, it's getting old. Think of something positive right now. Shift your thinking. Some of them might say like, you know, this person don't think that they're good enough or like they don't think they could do emotions or they don't think that they would be good at it or why would this person choose me? It says here, I took the easy way out. I feel like this person ghosted. We're going to get some of the, those cards though. Ego. And you know, like some people... Some people do the, like, you know, like, if I give a little bit of attention and, and then I pull myself away, oh, that's going to make them want me more. Like, you know, that's a control tactic. That could be manipulation. Like, you know, that could be another issue. That That's often found, found in people with that, uh, that's sitting fearful energy, too. Fearful energy, too. Because it's like, if, you know, when you fearful of something, you, of course, you're going to want to control it. That way you can control the outcome, how it's going to happen, right? So this person could have been manipulative. You didn't imagine it. Like, you know, withholding that those emotions and communication, that's manipulative. That's them manipulating the situation to unfold the way they, they wanted the situation to unfold the way they wanted it to. Let's see. Selfish. You are wrapped in your own desires. Try looking at and caring about the needs of others selfish and this person they didn't care what they did to people like or how they made other people feel as long as they it wasn't them on the short end of the stick at the end of the day that was their only concern this person was self-centered self-absorbed i took the easy way out S suspiciousness it's a it's is a quality of distrust and disbelief give yourself reasons why you feel like this Trust issues. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this person had definite trust issues, y'all. Definite. Like they, they don't they don't even trust their own emotions. They were suspicious. The suspiciousness is like they were suspicious about the things that you would do for them. Like, you know, this person could probably look at you, like I said, they feel unworthy. Like if you were doing great things for them, they'll probably look like what's the angle? Like, you know, what what's in it for you or what you trying to like what is it? Like, you know? Like they're like you had hidden agendas and hidden motives, but all their shit was hidden. I pretend I don't care. Their care was hidden. Their empathy was hidden. Their truth was hidden. Their emotions were hidden. They hid face to face. Like this person wore a mask. Like it's almost like you you never did you never met this person at their core. Like you met. Who, who they pre not say pretended to be, but you you met their pers their rep. Uh, I was gonna say persona, but their representative. Like this person had, <sighs> you know, it's like you could you could speak one way, and then when you get on the phone, like in a business call, it's like your business voice went to Harvard. Like you met this person's business voice. Like you met you met what they show the world. And I feel like this person lied. I lied to you. They keep they kept all that hidden, y'all, because this per this is why this person feels so unworthy. Because they have a lot of issues. When I say they have a lot of issues, they got some things that they shadow side. Like this is a lot. Look, demanding. It's a lot, and they probably demanded a lot from you while giving nothing. You know, 
demanding when displayed you are most likely making the other person feel inferior check your anxiety and depression they made you feel inferior this person made you feel small oh wow I got enough time, y'all. Let me get one more of these. This is the type of energy that this person was in. This could be someone from the past or someone that you separated from. Well, no, it, 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 this could be past energy or this could be someone that you recently separated from, y'all. I feel like this person want to make a comeback. Look, shame. You are not flawed. You are so worthy of love and belonging. Forgive yourself for not giving yourself enough love. And this is the universe's message to you. Like, don't ever let nobody make you feel inferior. Like, you you not good enough. Like, they'll have you out here thinking you're not good, good enough whole time. You're really some fucking body. Like, you really are somebody. We are. We all are somebody. Regardless of what society says or what society standards may be. Like... You got to move to the beat of your own drum. Don't let nobody make you feel guilty for being who you are and loving the way you are. Like, or, you know, telling you, you too this, you too that. Because the, the, the world, the people of society to tell you, go be happy. Like, you know, live your life. And then when you go and do that, they be like, no, not like that. Not like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like that. Like that. So this is some shadow energy that this person, you know... This is what was going on in the connection and this is what this person is dealing with right now. Like this is what they're going to be. Some things that they're going to be faced with healing. So let me get some messages from this, this deck y'all. And I'm going to get some from the tarot. And we're going to wrap it up. I keep hearing that song, Right My Wrongs by Bryson Tiller. This is the second day in a row that I channeled it. So I feel like this person wants to right their wrongs as it pertains to you. But also I get Right My Wrongs is like working on their shadow side. This person is going through dark night, night of the soul. This person is having a spiritual awakening, y'all. They're going through karma. Right My Wrongs. People said some really mean things about you. Now I don't trust you. So this card right here says I don't trust you. So this person could have heard something about about you from other people. And also with this gossip card, y'all, and with this person, we know this person have trust issues. This could just be, like I said, this person was battling between light and dark. This could just be, gossip could be what this person tells themselves about you. Oh, they're not going to want me back or I'm not good enough or this person don't want me or... Like, this is not the one for me. We both know we are not right for each other. This could be the lies that this person feeds that they, themselves. Or it could be like people, you know, talked about you. Like, you know? Now, I say this with this gossip. When you go looking for bad things, you're going to connect with people that have bad things to say. You know? Like, people, people love a story. It don't have to be true as long as it is juicy. I never understood that, you know, why people are so inclined to believe the bad things about someone before the good things. Like, they'll hear something good about you and they'll doubt it. They'll be like, oh, man, I don't believe that. Or so-and-so can't do this. Or for real. But, like, when it's bad, they'll be like, oh, you lying. And then they get on the phone and then with the next person, like, girl, y'all, let me tell y'all what so-and-so. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's really ridiculous. Unrequited. I just wanted to be friends with you, but I felt you wanted more. And this person felt they took the easy way out. I took the easy way out. They didn't reciprocate anything that you gave to them. Because like I said, this person felt, they felt unworried. This person wasn't used to being loved the way you came in and you loved this person. Right? So what they did, they played with it. They toyed with it. They pushed you away. Because right here, unworthy. They kept you in a friend zone. I'm going to get a few cards from here. Then I'm going to pull the tarot unavailable i just want to live an adventurous life and focus on being independent my freedom is more important than finding love here goes that ego unavailable this person was emotionally of unavailable they didn't want to put their emotions into anything like this person didn't want to so this is why it's like i couldn't tell you face to face all this not face to face like this person 
I don't know why here. This could be a person like when they would communicate with you, like it was they would text. You know what I'm saying? That way, if they you asked them something or there was a conversation that they didn't want to involve themselves in, they didn't have to. They wouldn't respond. Like you know, it's a, a means of control. You see what I talked about? That control. They even wanted to control the conversations, distractions. I'm focusing on work at the moment. Don't have time for anything else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when this person didn't want to be bothered, like any and everything came before you. So when I talked about pushing you away, well, now this person is distracted right now. And the work they're working on at the moment is the shadow work. This person is doing some shadow work. It's really difficult to compromise with you. But I feel like you, you know, like you expect it from this person. This person is used to dealing with people that they that would just take what it is they had to offer. You know, this could be someone that, like I said, ego driven. They could have hid behind material things cars clothes and hoes right and this is how they what they led with they led with the chochos they led with their money so it didn't matter what their partner or the person they was dealing with had to say as long as they was providing and doing this then it's like they really didn't have to take heed to it right this person never took heed to anything but i feel like you touched this person in a way that nobody else did with the you didn't imagine it and we are more alike than than i can i care to admit I'm going to get some tarot. Pessimism. I felt like you would only end up hurting me in the end. And I didn't want to risk getting hurt. Control. So they control the situation. Didn't that word come out earlier? Pessimism on one of these cards? Yeah, negativity. Let go of the pessimistic attitude. This is a ser this is serious for this person, y'all. I feel like an energy of, of, of realization, though. This person has... They've been awakened to to this a light has been shed on them in the way that they move let me see differences we are just too different to make us work i didn't want to hurt your feelings and differences i felt like dating you would be too complicated and a big challenge challenging i didn't feel like dealing with it did i just say like you required or something you require more from this person Fear. I was afraid of your reaction, so I decided to avoid the confrontation. Didn't I just say if this person didn't want, was uncomfortable, or didn't want to talk about something, they wouldn't respond or they wouldn't answer? Let me get some tarot, y'all. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe, y'all. Give it a thumbs up. But I feel like this person, they, they facing bad luck. Negative forces, out of control, vicious circle, disappointment, stuck. This person is feeling stuck in life right now. It's like they don't know they don't know where to move forward. Like their money might might be at a standstill, at a halt. Because the, the king of pinnacles with the temperance. The temperance talks about patience. Like it's a, a matter of waiting, y'all. Like rhythm and harmony. Like their finances. This person is not, they not paired with a bad luck card like this person is facing karma this person is in definite dark night of the soul energy look the devil energy i can't make this up the devil with the will of fortune in reverse with the king of pentacles y'all this person is having like there's out it's, it's money but there's stability their whole stability all their material possessions the things that they harp that they long so much for like this person is realizing that the things that they chased it didn't even matter right it's like the things that they 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 looked forward to were their biggest downfall damn they're coming to a realization like this person is being tempered it's like it's almost feeling like energy of yeah look humble yourself six of cups Keep, find your kindness because i feel like this person wasn't too too kind Harm, nostalgia, harmony, and happiness at home, goodwill. This person is trying to find a happy place. And then you have strength with the debt. This person is going through a serious ego debt. And I feel like on top of that, they lost you. Look, with the Queen of Pentacles with the lovers. They lost their, their wish fulfillment because they wanted to be back and forth, in and out. They wanted to put a halt on the connection. And they couldn't make a decision. They wanted competition. 